All right, what's going on guys? And I'm actually gonna start this video off by saying, this is just gonna be a video where I'm showing you guys what I'm working with right now. I'm still kind of new to the whole like hobby thing and stuff, but I'm gonna show you what I have real quick. All right, coming in with like the first one, I have Canvas Young Guns. Obviously I have a lot better cards, but not in the top loader because I just find Canvas Young Guns a little special. And I have Cal Foot, Jake Ottinger, and obviously Victor Olofsson, which is a really big one. I went for about $20, $25 still to this day, which is not bad. And they're all very good players, obviously. Um, it's really nice to have some of these great cards. And I top load them only because, again, they're kind of rare and I don't really collect, like, series boxes. Coming up next, yes, this is fake. This is not real. This is fake. It's a facsimile, facsimile auto. I mean, it looks kind of real. I don't know how people can tell if it's fake or not, but yeah, if this was real, I would, uh, yeah, be pretty, pretty rich. Coming up next is actually my first autograph poll, and it's from the Panthers, uh, Chris Drieger, and it's an artifacts card, and I got it out of my second box of artifacts, which I'm not too fond of, but it's not bad if you're just kind of new and you have some money to spend. You know, get some hits or whatever. But yeah, that's my first autograph pull. Coming in next, I recently just got this from a loose pack of Gypsy. And I believe his name is Nick Heath. It is a rookie auto. And yes, it is Nick Heath. And honestly, not bad for, you know, buying three packs. <laughs> next up is a Henrik Borgstrom autograph from, uh, I believe, 1819 Ice, if I'm, if I'm sure about that. Yes, 1819 ice right there. I actually pulled this when I was uh, visiting New York and I went to the car shop. I just love the uh, effects the card brings. Obviously, it's, I guess that's acetate, but I absolutely love this card. Next up is from a break I did with uh, Panini Select Baseball. And obviously, this is a nice, really nice pull. You know, Josh Donaldson is a great player. And I believe, yeah, it's number to 25. I mean, that's absolutely great. Uh, one of my favorite pulls, actually. Uh, next up is this, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say that name. Uh, Tariq Skubal, I think that's how you say it. I, dude, I don't, I don't know baseball prospect. It's a rookie, uh, Jersey Auto. I wish it was a patch, though. And this is also from Panini Select, and it's numbered to 299 Not too bad of a pull. But considering you're only supposed to get two mem and two autos, they got a Jersey patch. Not really a patch, Jersey Auto of a rookie. That's not bad. I'll take it. Coming in for a second to last card. One of my favorite ever. No, I did not pull this, and I wish I did. I'm just going to show you the colors on this. It is absolutely fantastic. It is a Keith Yandel, number to 25. One of my favorite players of all time. The Sock Master himself. I'm just going to show you a few other things I have. This is actually, you think, okay, it's just, you know, rookie of Yasperi Conte Niemi. And actually, it's actually not. It's a short print. Uh, from that uh, 1819 ice again from another loose pack and sold for about I think 30 last time I checked but yeah I mean still it's honestly a nice card especially for a third overall pick you know it's good this is obviously a clear-cut young gun of Nolan Foot, which any clear-cut young gun it's an automatic great pull it doesn't matter who it is and I got two rookie classes right my first one was girl Kaprizov Kaprizov however you want to say it that's insane dude I mean just, I know it's just an insert, but like getting anything Capri saw wise is insane. And obviously, I'm a huge Ranger fan. I pulled one Lafreniere card in the past. No, it was not his Young Guns. It was actually a Parker's rookie. And just getting this was absolutely awesome because I only got two of them, and I'm pretty sure you're like guaranteed two a box. And to get not only the Calder Memorial, but the first overall pick is absolutely insane. Now, before I go to this card, um, actually, in that extended series box, I did pull a total of eight young guns, actually, the clear cut and the checklist, as well as another young gun that was really good, Lesky Hepaniami, which is, again, awesome. And actually, coming to my first ever hobby box was MVP. I know, it's a starter, but I did pull this beauty right here. If I can pick it up for you, I will. It is a Yanni Hockenpah. I believe he's on the uh, Kings now, number 25. Uh, silver script and i mean kind of sucks but getting any numbered card especially a 25 and it's a silver script short print 
that's just awesome, especially for your first kind of quote unquote real pull. Even though it's MVP, I think it's still awesome to have. It has that, you know, reflector kind of thing going on. And now the biggest pull of my life by far. And yes, I'm not kidding. I actually did pull this card out of a, uh, what is it? 1617 SP game used. I got some other okay cars. I got like two Jerome Gillas. I got a Max Patch already, uh, Winter Classic Banners. But look at that patch. Autograph is obviously great. Number to 99. And obviously it's rookie. This is by far one touch material. And it's Matthew Barzell. It could have been some, you know, terrible player. But no, Matthew Barzell. Hey, listen, if, if it was Austin Matthews, I wouldn't complain. But yeah, this is by far the best pull of my life. And I don't see myself topping it anytime soon. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Um, I'm actually going to start making a little more content, obviously, like I said in the beginning. But I'm actually going to start doing a little more of uh, NHL Skate, which is a game on my phone. And I absolutely love playing it. And I'll do some openings and stuff. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.